was around for you I won't stop no, 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 no. I won't stop I won't stop I won't stop no, 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 no. I won't stop I Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today actually in a really nice location. We're pretty much right next to a reservoir, which is really cool. There's ducks everywhere and horses going by. It's rather nice. Anyway, um, I'm joined today with Danny, who I'll introduce you to very shortly. He's the owner of this absolute brute. This is a stage three, uh, 520 brake horsepower Mark VII GTI with a big, big wing um so the list of mods on this thing are uh, huge like most cars which i feature nowadays but i think it looks absolutely awesome we've got a tcr livery or tcr style livery uh, and some oz wheels as well anyway uh, we'll introduce you to danny and then we'll have a, a run around the car uh, get an idea of the amount of mods on this thing and then hit the road and see if we can possibly put down any of this power on this slightly damp and miserable day anyway my time you would have deserved Trent said I got style for you ain't see you at the top it's been a while for you big you up and they look down on you take one lost no one's around for you I won't stop no 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 I won't stop I won't stop I won't stop no 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 I won't stop I won't stop So Danny here he is the owner of the car welcome to the channel Thank you. No, thank you for uh, for inviting me to take a look at this. So I think what we should probably do is start with the wing, because yeah. <laughs> it's probably it's what most people are talking about. Out most of anything. Yeah. So you got this done like a week ago? Yeah, it was a cu custom fabrication job from um, Signature Fabrications, local local company. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty much, I supplied the top of the wing. Okay. And they pretty much said to me, "I want it doing yep. TCR sort of style." So they just pretty much took that and just custom Sweet. build brackets for it and it's it's properly done like look at these yeah it's all brackets, it's all yeah. hidden underneath so there's no yeah. nothing in the top it doesn't rub when you open the boot so nope. you can actually open the boot you can't just like open it like a tiny amount yeah. <laughs> it no. literally looks like a a touring car yeah it? pretty much yeah no it looks awesome and i love the little uh red yeah i just put them on this morning actually oh did you yeah just put ah. them on this morning the mods continue <laughs> <laughs> um we've also got the tcr style livery yeah I, I was choosing between a few different sort of racing racing liveries mm -hmm. and there's one that looks too much and some that look not enough. Yeah. This is pretty much bang on what I wanted. Yeah. So it covers most of the car. Yeah. And it's a beautiful, beautiful grey colour with yeah. metallic look, metallic right, It's a really good wrap actually. I'll just have a little look at some of it quickly. As far as a wrap go, that is pretty good, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, it's a white car underneath, so yeah. it, just, it just works. Oh, it, it just looks like an every, everyday normal white golf. So yeah, it's nice to <laughs> normal <different>. white golf. <laughs> see, go, see white golfs everywhere. So. <laughs> I think, we, should we whiz back round to the back so yes. we can have a look at the exhaust as well? Um, yeah, it's got a uh, Miltec downpipe, then it's halfway down, it's the Scorpion back box and Scorpion okay. ends. Yeah, and it sounds brutal. Yeah, <laughs> brutal. makes a lot of noise. Yeah, which is what you need with looks like this anyway. Definitely, definitely. Nice old diffuser on the back as well. Where's yeah, that from? Yeah, it's a Maxim Design diffuser yep. all the way around, front lip, back lip, and sides. Yeah, let's have a little look at that. We've got all the red pinstriping as well. You yeah. like your red pinstriping, don't you? <laughs> well, to be honest, when I, when I got the livery done, it wasn't wasn't one of my choices to put the red to, to put all the red on. But um, when I went to pick the car up, I just sort of noticed it, and they said, "Well, because the GTI's got the red lines inside and yeah. outside, it sort." Yeah, sort of followed not? that around with the whole car. Yeah, so. definitely. And it kind of makes it all stand out as well. Yeah, definitely. It pops, cool. pops the diffuser out. You can see the, yeah, see the no, exactly. diffuser. From, from this angle, though, it just looks insane. Yeah. <laughs> insane. Um, anyway, moving around, the wheels. Yeah, I had Team Dynamics on before. Yep. Since about a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> and I just invested in some uh, OZ, OZ uh, Formula HLTs. Yeah, they look cool. Yes. I think I've seen these on another Golf GTI, which I filmed. I okay. think I did a comparison between the GTI and the Golf R a yeah. while back when I had mine. Yeah, I mean those they, 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 they look nice, they sit yeah. nice on Golfs and yeah, no, they look I was going to get well. some um, Ultra Legras, but I sort of veered away from that because I saw everyone's got Ultra Legras now. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, as for suspension, it looks pretty low. Yeah, it's uh, Bill Stein B14s all the way around. Yep. 
Uh, it sits about, I think it's 35 in the front because I'm a bigger <laughs> bloke, so I can't have it too low because I catch everything. <laughs> and the back, I think the back sits a bit higher to yep. keep all the weight on the front end, yeah, which as I right. can really. Moving round. Actually, should we have a look under the bonnet? Yeah, because I, I don't think we've spoken about the power. Oh no, I did speak about the power. Stage yeah, not, three. Not many, people, not many people believe it puts 520 out, but it, it does. Yeah. <laughs> the crank, it's about 460 at the wheels. Okay. So. No, it's, it's a bit of a, a hidden gem, really. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot going on there. Well, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's completely... I think every part of that's changed. Is yeah. it forged or is it the standard? It's not forged, standard. It's got upgraded uh, upgraded injectors. Yep. All internals a bit upgraded. Okay. It's got IS38 hybrid turbo. Yep. That's obviously, that's where the power comes yeah, from. Yeah, bigger difference. Uh, bigger R600 intake. It's got a bigger intercooler, all from Racing Line, because yeah. I'm addicted to Racing Line at the minute. Why is it a GTI lead? Why is it not like a Racing Line one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you if gave me some stuff, I might put it on the car. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Let's have a little close-up of this. Look at this. I love it when the rocker covers have been taken off. Yeah, you see, can I, see, I want to take the head off eventually and get all this cleaned up. Ah, it is putting a bit of dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want to, I want to get the top that. of the head black. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Need some red pinstriping in here as well. <laughs> <laughs> curl up and disappear. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a, that's no, a yes, hefty engine. Turbo though. Technics Turbo. So. Yep. See that I mean, all there. the work's been done at VRS in Northampton. From new, basically. Or from Pretty much, yeah. I mean, the lab before me, Dave, he had it standard for about 40 miles. <laughs> Really? Yeah, drove it down in stage two straight away. Fair play. And then um, Fair play. about a year and a half ago, I met him at work, to be honest, and yeah. I saw the car in the car park and I sort of just went, I recognise that for someone. Obviously, done the Living Life Fast video. Yeah, I've seen that. A couple of months before. Yeah. And I was like, I, I want it. So yeah. I took it through a few test drives. Fair about play. a month later, I bought it off him. Mad. And it was running the same power as what it is today. Is yeah, it, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've cleaned it up a bit. It's had the turbo rebuild. Okay, yeah. So, that, so it was running a little bit more, probably. Yeah, it was a bit. Of, it was a bit of black smoke every now and then. Oh, okay. So I think the turbo seals just does. Uh, yeah. What's it called? Um, perished a bit. Yeah. But yeah, mm. apart from that, it was running. It's run perfectly ever since I've had it. Sweet, sweet. Well, um, yeah, that's a, that's a hefty block. <laughs> hefty block. Um, splitter. We have got Maxon on here yeah, as well. Max Null, Max Look at Null, this. Um, that I mean, is... The company that did the wrap even went to, to the. Um, the effort of wrapping my spacers, oh, yeah. my little to wrap my washers for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's mad. Now that, that it suits it, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it, if it was like a completely standard car with just that stuck on the front, yeah. it probably wouldn't work. But with delivery as well, yeah, it looks. Like looks I say, class. before just like a white golf, and when they park up, you park very, it to four or five. Very sleeperish. Yeah, because yeah, it was literally just white, wasn't it? Just white all the way around. No, I think now actually let's get an angle photo here. We should boot. Should yeah, yeah, if you want. Look at that. That is a beast. I've actually had someone ask me before, well, what is it then? Is it, a, is it an R? <laughs> <laughs> really? It's legit? G GTD, mate, yeah. yeah. <laughs> GTE. <laughs> yeah, I've had people ask me, what is it? Is it a Golf R? And I'm just, just shaking my head at them. Just shake your head, yeah. No, that is, this is probably one of the most mental G charts I've ever seen. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate it. And we had a little bit of a drive before we got to this location, a rather lovely location, actually. Yeah, and I can sure. safely say that this with this power feels a lot more larry than a golf r yeah. which i've experienced with I similar power it's the front it's the front wheel drive makes it a bit unstable but yes. fun as well yeah and you've got a diff on it as well it's got yeah it's, it's got, got a wave track limited slip diff yeah yeah which went on about a year ago okay yeah and the back that that, that it got the good grip at the front then but the back end started swinging around okay yeah so i stuck the wing on the back yeah, you stuck the wing on the back. Yeah, That's that. Sort of, <laughs> it's not set up for race yet, it's just set up for looks yeah, at the minute. Yeah. It's only so been on a couple Is of it weeks. adjustable so you can... It's like, adjustable if you start drilling it. I mean, it's got uh, one okay. set of adjusters at the minute because yeah. I needed it done for, um, I think it's Ultimate Stance. Okay. I wanted it done for Ultimate Stance. Yeah. Um, but yeah, when I start doing tracks, it'll be on a yeah. few, few different That's sort of cool. applications for it. Sweet. Well, um, here we go. This is the beast. Uh, oh, brakes. They yes, are rated as well. they are. Right? Club Sport. S brakes, I believe, aluminium yep. belts. Okay. So basically, just nicked them off Club Sport, and just stuck them on this. Oh, fair play, fair play. Yeah. That's yeah. probably the most important thing when you're when you're doing big power in there. Definitely. I mean, I will. I, I do need to get a set of bigger brakes because oh, yeah. doing our drag racing before I had the wing on, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, but places like Pod, yeah. 220 mile an hour, you start braking, you start getting a bit of brake fade. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially if you're doing multiple runs, anyway. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Get warm, a bit fade. I love how the. Speaking about fading, actually, <laughs> so I love how the wrap kind of fades away towards that because it's not just a grey wrap with white and red bits. No, it's completely it's like a, random. A texture. It's not random, but it's just completely different. Mm. And like I said, it's a quality wrap as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, the guys at Signs and Graphics, Signs and Graphics UK in Hinkley, okay, yeah, did the wrap. They did it. Okay, nice lads. Did it in Sweet. literally four hours. I think it took them to do the whole Fair. wrap, the yeah. whole car. 
That's awesome. I helped him out and let me help him, so I took, I took all the, bo uh, the bonnet, the bumper apart, sorry. Yeah. And um, yeah, stripped it all down to help him out. Anyway, um, shall we get on the road? Yeah. Because I'm yeah. excited to share everyone how this is on get the road. It's cold, eh? Yeah, and it's freezing as well, my hands are hurting. So anyway, yeah, let's hop in the car and uh, go for a blast. <laughs> The old school golf stuff now, so the big split rooms. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it just sounds keep so around, good. Keep going around, keep going around, keep going around. <laughs> How many sets of tyres do you go through? <laughs> <laughs> These unirods are quite, um, quite soft, so yeah, seems to last quite well. Can you imagine a rear-wheel drive swap on one of these? Oh my god, that'd be, that'd be 
Yeah. Because it's quite short, so it might be. It's true, yeah. As soon as it goes, it just goes. Just put the front <laughs> bumper on the rear bumper, and then, <laughs> then you'll be fine. <laughs> I know some people that have done the four-wheel drive conversions, like took the Howard Xboxes off. Oh, one of these? And put them in there. Ah, so, yeah. okay. Ooh, I've never heard of that before. That would obviously work as well, doesn't it? Yeah. No, it, it just suits it, and because it's so stiff as well, every single bump. Yeah, the, no, the Bills tyres are pretty spot on. Yeah, it sits really well to be It fair. just sat a lot lower when I had it, but obviously because it's such a mass of a blow, it was a lot lower when I got in it before compared <laughs> to the old one. Yeah, old. yeah. I mean, Dave's only six foot away, it's about, I don't know. Yeah, probably 
first. I'm <laughs> someone's from for living room. Yeah. <laughs> Push around here, bag gets a bit mm, hard enough. Yeah, ready, yeah. Ready. ready for Sunday roast. Yeah, pretty much. Even though it's Saturday. <laughs> sat on, just sat waiting for Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in terms of interior mods, we haven't really spoken about that. It's pretty much stock in here. Well, I've only got half of it in the minute. Well, so. yeah, that's true. <laughs> As we said, to start with. Yeah. Um, but we've got some little retrimming bits. We've got an yeah, Alcantara steering, steering wheel. Alcantara. Um, a little yeah, gear shift. Yeah, shift is up. Thingy majiggy. Um, but yeah, yeah, I suppose with this, you don't really pretty, need it. It's pretty standard, to be honest. Yeah, you don't really need to upgrade it, unless you go for bucket seats. Yeah, I mean, I'm but, I mean, trying to fit in bucket seats. I've got to buy some expensive bucket seats. See that? <laughs> yeah. They're still nice. I mean, I love the... Um, Club sport seats, they look so nice. Oh, yes, the two, the two yeah. strips down. Are, are they carbon back? Or? I believe so. Yeah, I think the, I think the club sport S is a carbon back. Nah, yeah, and they're all Alcantara and suede mix. Yeah, just, they look stunning. I think the 7.5 dash that yeah. would make a big yeah. difference. I mean, yeah, I think it's about been quoted about 3,000 or both. Really, yeah, crikey, worth it though. You reckon? See. We'll see. <laughs> Spend it first and then work it yeah, out. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the radio this morning, it's the first time I've done it, it froze this morning, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, it went in reverse and it sort of froze. Was so that because like, the cold mm. start was too loud? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, no! <laughs> so I was, do I get a problem right now? Is this the time I get Is this the time, yeah. Digital dash. You still get a few little little burbles. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's excessive though, which is it's nice. It's a lovely little, just little drive. Even the, the tone of the engine is nice. Yeah, it resonates <laughs> around all these buildings. So. It just picks up so quick. <laughs> anyway, I think that's probably enough hooning around for one <laughs> video. Um, dude, thank you so much for no worries, showing sure. around. I don't think we mentioned you've got two Instagrams, right? So one yeah. for this car, and one got for GTI Young. Yep. She's obviously the car. The car one. And I've got a DM Capture, which is my top Sweet. page. I'll link both of those down in the description. Really? Um, so you can go check those out. It's always nice to, to feature a fellow photographer because they yeah, kind of definitely. understand all the stupid things that I'm doing. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, thanks again. This thing is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Appreciate you driving to Leicester. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> all right. Yeah, no worries. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures. Still to come. I won't stop. No, 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 no. I won't stop. I won't stop. I won't stop. No, no.